Well, it starts off with my mindset. Um, when I step on the mats, I know that I'm the smallest one, most likely, and that I'm a female, so I'm not as strong as everybody. So I have to be smarter, or I have to uh, make sure I'm one step ahead. And I gain that confidence through my instructor, Sergio. He makes sure that he tells me every detail. And with him being there, it gives me the confidence that I need to be able to even try it. I might not be successful, which most of the time, every time I try something new, I, I don't get it right away. But that's, that's life, I think. And that's why jujitsu is so important. Because just when you think you can't do it, you just have to keep trying. And that's a big reason why I feel teaching kids has helped me also. Because I, they're helping me more than they even know. Having to break things down in the simplest form is making me realize like, hey, I probably don't know this move that well, or I need to go ask Sergio a little bit more. So it's more of a learning experience for me, and I get to, I get to see them grow. And that's so satisfying. Like there's this little girl, Abby, when she first started, she was the only girl, and she's bigger than all the boys, but the boys would beat her up. I'm like, Abby, you're strong. You just need a frame. You need a hip escape. You need to be, you know, one step ahead. The same thing that Sergio tells me, I found myself telling Abby. And it's, that's what makes Jiu-Jitsu beautiful. It's, a, it's like a big, it's a big circle. And now, you know, boys can't patch a guard. You know, and she's, you know, she's passing their guard and she's getting side control. So, seeing that, and I'm probably biased because I like the girls. Not that I don't like the boys, but boys, boys think they're like, oh, I'm strong, you know. And same thing with men, men on this map. Like, they, they think because they're stronger, they're going to beat you. But that's the beauty of jujitsu. If you're technically better than um, with hard work. And a lot of drilling and getting the timing of things, you'll be successful. And I used to do Muay Thai. I still train Muay Thai and I fight Muay Thai, but it's never given me this hope the way Jiu Jitsu does. Jiu Jitsu uh, empowers me in a way that I don't think I ever, I, I never even imagined. And it also has to do with my instructor because he believes in Jiu Jitsu and he believes in me. So that's why I hope to one day the kids will look back at me and I'm not saying they're going to be world champions or not, but just approach things in their life. If they're going into middle school, if they're going into elementary school, if they're going into high school, approach things in a way that like, hey, I might not get that sweet today. Hey, I might not pass this test or I might not make as many friends, but if I keep trying and working hard, then, then I'll be successful. So that's what Jiu Jitsu has brought to my life as a woman as a short woman and as an instructor to kids, I hope, you know, people will see that it's something very beautiful. What's something that Sergio has said to you that you find yourself saying or repeating, maybe just to yourself in your day to day or while teaching the kids? There's, it doesn't have to be something that you, you always say, but uh, what's something that comes to you? Trust. Trust. Uh, I doubt myself a lot, and also I just I just doubt. So, you know, one day we were learning a uh, bow and arrow, and it was like my, within the first six months that I was started training here. He's like, just trust, just go for it, just trust. And I, you know, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna let it go, and I'm just gonna do it, and I got it. So, I think, you know, and with kids, you have them well kids kids are very trusting so it's a little different for them they they don't have that that fear that barrier. that barrier they don't have you know anything holding them back they're fearless so with kids I believe it's more important to instill confidence and and discipline and a little bit of respect to me that's what's more important but Sergio automatically teaches that because of the way he leads by example. So it's not that he's he's saying, oh, you need to you need to be loyal, you need to respect and everything. He he's leading by example. So that that way, by him doing that, it's making me help the kids. Like, hey, 
be confident, show your elders respect. You know, I, always by just shaking your partner's hand before and after, that's something really important. Even if you lost, you have to be humble. So, um, trust and, and respect, I think that's what Sergio helps me.